Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ashley. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new 2021 Jayco Redhawk 31F. Uh, the latest and greatest on this RV is that it has the brand new Godzilla motor. Um, we are gonna be doing a rental walkthrough on the RV. So I'm gonna explain all the workings inside and outside um, and get you familiarized with the unit. Coming around to the passenger side, um, as you can see, she's pretty tall, so 12 and a half foot. Um, so on the highway, we're good. Anything off the highway, we just wanna keep that height in mind. Um, also, we have 33 feet in length, um, which gives us a lot more room and space on the inside, which you'll see in a few minutes. Um, first thing I wanna cover is right here, which is your propane gas. Your propane is gonna power a few things for us. It powers your fridge when you're not plugged in or on the generator power. Um, it also powers your hot water heater um, and it also powers your stove. In the winter time, you would be using more propane because it also feeds your heat. In the summertime, we're just worrying about our hot water stove and uh, fridge when we're not plugged in or on the generator. So how we check and see how full or how low we're getting on the propane is right here at this gauge. When we're at the one fourth mark and we still have a couple nights left, um, we wanna go and get a refill. Uh, that can be at any truck stop. So like um, and U-Haul offers that as well. Um, so just so you know, when you need to go get it refilled, the propane gas tank is on this side. Moving down the RV, these are just some nifty storage areas. Um, each one is lit. You can just click on the light inside uh, so you can see, uh, which is very helpful at night. Um, this is storage as well. Right here, we have our propane outlet. So if you have a propane powered grill, you can plug that in right here. So coming around to the back of the RV, you can see the ladder here. That's just for maintenance purposes. So we just ask that you don't climb it. You also have your backup camera up top, see seven feet behind you. Um, and you have the nice Sony big screen that I'm gonna show you guys when we get inside. Um, so you can see everything nice and clear. Always a good idea to have a spotter when you're backing up especially. Um, and you also have your tow hitch here. Um, coming around to the driver's side, here's where the fun stuff starts. So um, right here, we're gonna go over our fresh water and city water hookup. So your fresh water is your storage water. So you have 50 gallons of fresh water uh, that's in the RV with you at all times. Your city water connection is gonna be your direct connect for water. So when you get to the campsite um, or wherever you might be staying the night, uh, you wanna hook up to your city water. Um, and how you do that is your water hose, one part looks like a regular garden hose and then this part has a colored attachment. So the colored attachment will always go to your outside source, so like the campsite, um, and this part will always go in the RV. Thing about the Jayco's is the way their water system is set up. So if I am at the campsite and I want to use my direct connect for the water hookup, I want to make sure I have it on two and six. So how that works is your two is up. So we'd put it at two and then six. And that gives us direct connect. Um, the city tank fill, that is filling your fresh water tank, your storage water. So I always say before you leave the campsite, just top off your fresh water uh, tank so you have that nice and filled. What I would do is put this at one and then this at six. So now we're filling our fresh water tank. You'll know that's full because the water starts coming out at the spout here. Um, if we're not filling and we're not hooked up to city water and we're on the road, we just wanna set it to normal, which is three and five. These other two, you'll never have to worry about because um, we take care of that for you. 
Um, moving over, this is just a light, so at nighttime you can see really well. Um, you have an outside shower here, good for rinsing off your waist hose or anything you need to rinse off before you bring it inside. Um, and the way you use this is just turn the water pump on and you're ready to go. So everybody's favorite part, uh, the dumping outlet. Um, so here you will see our black water lever and our gray water lever. Uh, black water is your toilet water. Um, the gray is your sink and shower. Um, before you do anything, you just want to make sure they're nice and tightly closed. Um, then you can remove the cap. Uh, the part with the teeth lock in here. The first lever you're going to want to pull is your black water. So you'll pull that one first and then you'll pull your gray. Um, once it's done, you'll hear it when it's done. You can close your gray and then close your black nice and tightly closed. Then you can remove this and pop your cap back on and we're ready to go. So moving down the driver's side, gas tank is right here, regular gas. We wanna try and go to truck stops to fill up and not regular gas stations so you have more room and height at a truck stop to fill up. Um, another storage bin right here. This is our plug for the RV. So when we're at the campsite, um, we're gonna wanna hook up to our 30 amp plug um, and that powers everything inside the RV for you. Um, you also have your cable outlet here. So if the campsite offers cable hookup, you have that hookup here. And then you also have some 110 outlets for anything you wanna plug in for outdoor use. Um, so that's here. Moving down another storage area. This is our generator. So the only reason you'll ever need to mess with the generator outside is if you trip it. That can happen by running the AC and microwave at the same time. Doesn't happen often, but when it does, you would need to come out and open this part. Right back here is a black switch. If this is in the back position, that means it's tripped. So we just need to pull it back forward and then you'll be good to go. So now that we've covered all the important stuff on the outside of the RV, uh, we're almost done with the exterior. Uh, the last thing is the awning, uh, which is on the passenger side. Uh, so it's our nice sunshade that comes out about eight feet. Um, Warnings about the awning, you just want to make sure it's not too windy or rainy when you have it extended. You also don't want to leave it extended overnight. Um, any hanging tree branches or anything like that that can catch the awning, we want to watch out for uh, because they do tear really easily. So now for the best part, which is the inside. We have our power step here that automatically comes in and out when you open and close the door. Um, looking to your immediate right, you have some switches. You have your speaker inside and speaker outside. Speaker outside option uh, plays your music outside. Uh, when in travel, you just wanna leave it on speaker inside. You also have your awning button. Uh, your power step, you can just leave that on. That just makes it automatically open and close with the door. You also have your awning light. Uh, your main power switch is right there. You just wanna make sure that's always on and the red light uh, shows you that it's on. Uh, that just feeds your power on the inside of the RV. So coming into the RV, we have our control panel right here. Um, first thing is our generator. Um, so your generator is gonna power your microwave, your AC and your 110 outlet plugs inside the RV uh, when you're not plugged in. So we have two sources of power. We're either plugging in our 30 amp plug or we're using the generator. So how we'd use the generator is first we wanna hold down on stop until it lights up red. And then we start it. It's like a little engine. 
So now we're able to use the AC, TV, microwave, um, and plug into our 110 outlets within the RV's cabin. Um, we also have our slide out. Um, for the slide out, you just wanna make sure that you have enough room to open it. Um, it's a pretty big slide out, so you just wanna make sure you have the room and that you're on level ground. And now we have our slide out fully extended. A lot more room in here thanks to that. Um, our water pump, you can turn it on and leave it on. Uh, it just gives you water to all your facilities or you can turn it off and turn it on when you want to use your water. Uh, you have two ways to heat your water. You can choose propane or plug-in. So propane is your quick option, uh, about 15 minutes for a hot shower. Uh, electric. Um, not so quick, 20 to 25 minutes for a hot shower. So what you'd wanna do is click it on, give it 15 minutes and then you're able to take your hot shower um, and then electric 20 minutes prior for a nice hot shower. When you're done using the hot water, you can just come over and turn it off. So these are how we check the levels on our battery, uh, your house battery. If that gets low, you just want to crank the engine and in about 15 minutes it will uh, be full again. And then you also have your fresh water tank, uh, super easy to fill like I showed you guys on the outside with the water hose. Um, your black is your waste tank. So it's on empty now. When it's at two thirds, it's time to dump. And then same for your gray tank. So right here we have our very spacious bunk bed. Um, the kids love it, adults love it. Uh, it can sleep too, uh, holds 350 pounds. Um, you have these black hooks right here, which are for your bunk bed ladder. Um, and I'm just gonna show you guys how that looks with the ladder on. Uh, so these just hook right into here and now you have the bunk bed ladder. Um, you also have your TV uh, that has the ability to swivel out and face towards the living area. Um, also right here, we have our privacy curtain. Um, so when you're ready to go for the night um, and you want privacy in the front cab, um, starting over here, you have these little Velcro um, roundies uh, and you're just gonna stick that here and it just attaches and now you have full privacy in the front. So in the driver's cabin, uh, nothing abnormal here except for the Sony touch screen. Um, your backup camera activates when you're in reverse automatically, so you'll be able to see that there. Um, you also have an option to where you can have the backup camera playing at all times. Um, so that option is there for you. Uh, moving over to the kitchen and living area. Um, so the dinette seats four, there's four seat belts um, and your couch sleep, um, seats two um, and there's two seat belts there as well. Uh, they both convert into uh, sleepers. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how we convert the dinette and couch into sleepers. So first thing you would wanna do for the dinette is uh, these cushions, they just come off. Uh, there's little round stickies here. Um, I just like to tuck in the seat belts and lift this cushion up here. And again, just tucking in the seat belts and lifting up this. So the dinette table, super easy. Uh, there's no leg, so you just lift up and bring it out and it lays flat. And so how the cushions go, it's kind of like a puzzle piece here. Okay. 
then now we have our day bed conversion. Um, it is a firm sleep, so whoever's gonna be sleeping here, if they don't like a firm sleep, you might wanna bring a mattress pad or some extra blankets to soften it up a bit. So your sofa also converts into a futon. It's a jackknife sofa. So how we convert that, we just grab it here from the bottom, pull up and then out. And then we can arrange the cushions to lay flat. And now you have your futon uh, couch conversion for sleeping. Um, moving through, uh, very nice kitchen, a lot of counter space, uh, double sink here. We also have our microwave and stove. Um, microwave, keep in mind we're either plugged in or on the generator power for it to work. Um, and just to give you an overview on how the stove works, so um, you're gonna look, there are pictures of flames. Um, so you will just point it towards the flame and then this is your lighter. And you'll just light it like that. You also have some lights here. Um, and you also have your oven, uh, double oven here. Right here on our left, right by the couch, we have our fridge, um, very spacious. So your fridge is here. And then you have a very nice size freezer up top. Um, so your fridge will be on and working when you come to pick up the RV. Uh, just keep in mind it's feeding off your propane tank until you plug in or have the generator on. Um, you also have our AC controls, exterior and interior lights right here. Um, moving through the cabin here, we have our bunkhouse, super nice. Um, even if you're traveling without kids, uh, you can use this for storage, uh, for sleeping adults. Um, it's, each one has a dome light inside along with full coverage privacy curtains. Um, and then you have your storage drawers down here. So for the master bedroom, very spacious. You have a nice sized queen bed here. Um, lots of storage up top. You also have your reading lights here. Um, just in case I didn't mention, every window inside the cabin of the RV has pull, full privacy pull-down shades. Uh, so when you need your privacy, each window has a full pull-down. You also have a privacy door here for the master bedroom. You just remove the lock. And full privacy for your master bedroom. Um, you also have the light switch here. Very nice wardrobe, closet, lots of space, um, plenty of drawers here and also here. So lots and lots of space for your storage. So coming into the main bathroom, um, you have an entrance to the bathroom from the master bedroom as well as from your living area, which is super convenient. Um, we have our medicine cabinet and sink more storage underneath the sink and more storage up top. Our toilet is a pedal flush toilet. You get one roll of RV friendly toilet paper to bring with you. If you're gonna need more for your trip, Amazon, camping stores, Walmart, they will all have a toilet paper in the camping section labeled as RV friendly or a simple one ply toilet paper is fine. Um, my favorite part, the shower. It's a very spacious shower for an RV. Um, double doors here. You have your skylight up top. Um, so really nice and roomy shower for us as well. That concludes our contactless walkthrough for the 2021 Jayco Redhawk 31F. If you have any questions or concerns for your upcoming rental, please just notate that and we'll see you on the day of your rental pickup. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let us know which RV you'd like to see us in next, but for now, it's time to hit the road.